Welcome to the Children's Museum of Denver, where children and their grown-ups learn through play. Come explore with us as we practice thinking like engineers and scientists. Here we are inside 321 Blastoff, a rocket science exhibit at the Children's Museum of Denver. 321 Blastoff is a place where we can learn all about the science of air. Today, we are going to investigate how air can make things move and even send rockets up, up, and away. Air can do work, like making things move. Wow, look at how these things are moving because air is pushing on them. Air is all around us, all the time, and even though it's invisible, air takes up space and exerts pressure. When anything moves, it's because a force is acting on it. Here are the forces moving air. Have you ever made something move by using air? Yeah, just like that. Moving air exerts pressure. A little air can make things move a little or can move lightweight things. A lot of air can even work against gravity to move something really heavy. Look at these rockets. They are massive and go really high and fast. They overcome gravity with thrust. Now, let's use air pressure to really make things fly. At the Children's Museum of Denver, we made an air-powered rocket launcher. Underneath, this machine compresses the air. That means it squeezes the molecules of air closer together, so they push even harder when they get out. Push this button and hold it down to build up air pressure. And then release the air. The air pressure has so much force, it lifts the rocket and makes it move. Wow! Now these kids are going to design and build their own rockets. They're using simple materials like paper and tape. Oftentimes, rockets and other things that fly have a few main parts, the body, the nose, and the fins. When you design and build something, you are engineering. Here's how you can think like an engineer. Step one, define a challenge. That means you want to make something happen or there's an interesting problem you want to solve. In this case, we want to build a rocket that will fly. Step two, imagine. Come up with a lot of ideas. Use your imagination and talk with other people to share ideas. Step three, design. Plan and design your machine or solution. Sometimes engineers draw or sketch their plans. Step four, create. Build or make the thing you've designed. Step five, test. Now, try it out. See if it does what you wanted it to do. Sometimes your creation works just like you thought it would, and sometimes it doesn't, and that's okay. It's all part of the engineering process. Step six, improve. Because if it doesn't do exactly what you wanted it to do, the next step is to work on it some more. Maybe you change part of it or add a new part. This is where you improve your design. So, let's see some of the different rockets these engineers built. Now, let's bring the rockets to the launch station and get them moving with some air pressure. The pressure is building up. Five, four, Now, these rocket engineers will talk about what worked and what didn't work and maybe change their designs again. That's what it means to think like an engineer. You can too. I love rockets. I can think like an engineer. I'm a rocket man.